Well, the FBI is cracking down on scammers looking to take advantage of people who've already been scammed. Agents with the San Diego field office seized three websites, saying the companies falsely promised to help people recover lost cryptocurrency funds. Our Jamie Chambers is live in Sorrento Valley tonight with how the scams worked and what you should look out for. Jamie, some important advice here. Absolutely. This is a really mean scam. It's a one two punch and the FBI says it's so prolific that it's hitting people and costing billions of dollars. And I can say I've been reached out to by these particular scammers already twice. Time is on the criminal's side and with a sophisticated study of human desires and emotions, the scammers are becoming extremely adept at tricking people out of their life savings. Sometimes it's a romantic angle, other times it's strictly business professional. Um, there, are, there are a multitude of ways that they are first indoctrinated, but yeah, they're very patient in gaining the trust of the victims. This is what one of the most common scams look like according to the FBI, a random text from a woman hoping to spark up a conversation that eventually leads Leads you to investing in cryptocurrency. Yeah, it sounds ridiculous, but according to the IC3.gov, the fraud monitors, $4 billion was scammed off of Americans in 2023. It's very common for them to spoof legitimate sites, right? So you might think you're investing on a, on a real platform with a real bank or exchange, um, but they've spoofed it, and so it's really hard to tell. So after losing thousands, tens of thousands, or even millions of dollars in cryptocurrency, Scammers are now adding insult to injury when the same people that scammed you come back for a second bite at the apple. Victims who have already lost, you know, upwards of $100,000, $200,000 to these schemes are obviously desperate to get their money back. A lot of them find these crypto recovery companies. And so these are all fraudulent recovery companies for the most part. And then they hit you with the last scheme. With false hope and desperation, criminals say something like this. We can get your money back, but we need an advance fee. Most times it's a deposit of 10% of what you've already lost and then 10% of what is recovered but no money is ever coming back. A rule of thumb we have gone by is don't send money to someone you've never met before. Everything's changed now and at this point we shouldn't be sending money to places that a new person is directing us to. The FBI says it really is incredible how patient these scammers are. They could go months before they start to speak about these cryptocurrency banks and start to lure those people for that final scam. But they also say that these scams can change very quickly. So just stay sharp out there. Keep your guard up. That's the very latest from Sereno Valley. I'm Jamie Chambers. Phil, we'll send it back to you.